everyone, it's Mr. Montgomery again, back with a new math lesson. Today we are going to be on page 333. Remember that in our new robot turtle book on the spine, it should say VOL.2. If it if uh, your book does not say this on the on the side, on the edge where all the pages are put together, then pause the video and make sure you look for the correct math book or else you might be a little lost. Okay? So, make sure you're also on page 333. If not, again, pause the video, find the right page, and you should be good to go. For my friends that are on the right page, let's continue with today's lesson and find out what on earth we're going to be doing this time. So, let's read this little problem up here. It says, Tara has 34 cubes. How many groups of 10 can she make with cubes? Show your work in the space. Of course we got to show our work. It would be madness not to show our work. Okay. So here's our first step. We're going to do this first part together 100%. Uh, they want us to draw 34 cubes. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and draw 34 cubes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to probably uh, see how many I can fit at the top here in one row. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I, I pretty much filled it up, so I'm going to just drop down and keep drawing my squares until I get a total of 34. 11, 12, 13, 14. 15. Now what I like to try to do guys is I try to keep my cubes as neat as I can and as organized as I can. That way it's easy well easier to count them later on. Okay. And you'll see exactly why I like to keep them so neat and organized. I keep them in rows and columns just like in a um, in our 100 chart. That's how I like to keep my squares. All right, I hit 30, I need four more, 31, 32, 33, and 34. Okay, so if you're not done drawing all 34 cubes, like I always say, pause the video, hit the space bar, take your time, do not rush. Uh, you'll see why in just a, a moment or two why it's very important to keep these squares organized and keep them as neat and to take our time with them. Uh, if you are already done drawing the 34 cubes, we're going to keep on rolling. So, uh, they're asking how many groups of 10 can we make? So, we kind of did something like this in the last unit. I know I kind of went over it very briefly, you know, very quickly. Uh, so, I'm going to just say it all again and because uh, this is really what this lesson is focusing on is making sure we can make groups of 10 all right and show how many tens we can make with any number of cubes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to count a whole bunch of cubes until i get to number 10 and what i like to do is, especially if i have a, a pencil and paper like you all have at home uh, i like to make just poke every single box that I count so it leaves like a tiny mark so I know exactly what I counted. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to count all the way to 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I stop because I reached 10 and I look at all the cubes I made little dots on because those are the ones I counted. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle them because they're all one big group of 10. All right, so that's one group of 10. So then we're going to drop down and we're going to do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to stop because I reached 10 because that's how many we want in each group. We want to make a group of 10. 
and I look back at all the ones I made little dots on that I poked as I counted, and I'm going to circle those. And the circles might overlap a little bit, and that's okay. All right, now we're going to do it again. We're going to count 10 cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I stop because I counted to ten, and I'm going to circle all those squares that I made little dots in as I counted. All right, and let's see how many cubes I have left. I have just one, two, three, four. I don't have ten, so I, I am all done making my groups of ten. So, how many tens did we just make? Well, let's count them. We made one, two, three. So, uh, if we have 34 cubes, we can make three groups of 10 out of it. And I'll show you guys a little trick to this. Uh, if they ever ask you how many tens can you make with any number, guess what? You just look at the tens place and your answer will be right there every time. <laughs> so if they say, how many groups of 10 can you make with 34? It's three, because there's a three in the tens place. Uh, what about the number 58? How many tens do you think you can make with the number 58? Well, you look at the tens place, and it tells you there's 58, so there's five tens. There's five in the tens place. Even with the number, uh, a huge number like, 99. How many groups of 10 could you make with 99 cubes? Well, you look at the tens place, and you, that's it. That's, that is your answer. Okay? So if you, ever, if you guys ever see yourself with a little story problem like this, it says, how many tens can you make? And they tell you the number. Uh, just look at the tens place, and that's exactly how many tens you're going to make. Okay? So that is my, uh, I call that my Mr. Montgomery little cheat. Uh, if you guys play video games and if you ever used a cheat code, I don't know if video games still have cheat codes. They used to back in my day. All right, but let's try, um, uh, let me just walk you through this one more time with one more group of cubes, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Even though I just showed you my little uh, cheat code, my video game cheat code. Gonna make a little squiggly line there, okay? And it's going. We're gonna make sure it's separate. Uh, what if we had twenty-two cubes, okay? So we're gonna ignore that little cheat code I gave you. Let's draw twenty-two cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. All right, so let's find out how many groups of 10 we can make if we had 22 cubes. Well, same thing that we did up here. We're just going to count the, each cube until we get to number 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We stop because I reached 10. I'm going to circle those cubes. And this is one group of 10 here. And then we're going to drop down to uh, the rest of our cubes and do it one more time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I stopped because I reached 10. I'm going to circle all those cubes I just counted. And don't worry if your circles overlap a little bit. It's okay. And we just have two left, so we can't make another group of 10. So how many groups of 10 do we just make? One, two. We made two groups of 10. All right, and then that would be your answer. You can make two sets of 10. So now let's go ahead and turn uh, our page and go to the next page in our workbook 
and do some practice problems. So here is our next page that we are on. It's page number 334. Zoom in real quick at the bottom for you. 334 is the page number. You should see a little boy at the top of the page making groups of 10 with cubes. So I'm going to walk us through number one, and then I'm going to have you try number two all on your own. All right. So what they have here is they have a whole bunch of red cubes, and they wanted to make groups of 10. So you can see how many 10s and how many 1s there are. And we can even double check their work. They have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's definitely 10 red cubes right there. So I'm going to circle this group. Okay, and then they just count it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We stop because we counted 10. Circle all the cubes that we uh, poked. And over here they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we do not have enough to make another group of 10. So now they wanted to know how many groups of 10? Well, we have one, two groups of 10. So that's where this two came from on the first line. And how many ones? Well, to find out how many ones cubes there are left over, you just count the ones that are not in that are not circled in a group of 10. So all these right here that are not circled, we're going to just count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven there. And that's where they got that dotted 7 from. And this makes what number? Well, if you guys remember uh, yesterday's lesson, the 2, it goes in the 10s place, right? And then the 7 goes in the 1s place. So you get the number 27. You just smush them together. Just remember that the first number is always the 10s. The second number is always the 1s. So that's where they got the number 27 from. All right. So now try doing the same thing for number two, but you're going to try this on your own. So you're going to circle each group of 10. And then after you do that, you're going to write how many 10s right here on the line. How many, how many groups of 10 did you make? And then on the second line, right down here, you're going to write down how many ones cubes are left over. How many were left out and not put in a group of 10. And then you're going to smush those numbers together and tell me what big number they make at the very end. All right? So go ahead and give number two a try. Okay, now if you're still working, please pause the video. Take your time with number two. So hit that space bar, pause the video. If you're all done, let's double check our work. Make sure we did everything correct. So first thing I'm going to do is make groups of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so I just counted 10 cubes. I stop and I... I, now, like I said before, I like to poke each one that I count, so I make a tiny little mark on it. I know exactly which ones I counted. I'm going to circle those 10 cubes I just counted. Okay? And, I got, and now I'm going to do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I stop because I counted to 10. I'm going to circle those, the, this next set of 10 that I just counted. All right, now I'm going to do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I stop, and I circle the cubes that I just counted again. So that's another group of 10. And I'm going to do it again, because I still have cubes left over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six, seven, eight, nine. So I do not have enough to make another group of 10. I don't have enough. So I cannot circle these last few cubes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to count how many groups of 10 I made, how many sets of cubes that I circle. And I'm going to write that number on this first line. So I have one, two, three. So I have three groups of 10. And now they also want me to write how many ones, that is how many cubes are left over that were not circled in a group of 10, which is going to be these cubes over here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine ones. So remember, our groups of 10 goes in the tens place, and our leftover ones go in the ones place, and you smush them together. So the three, the tens goes first, which is the three. And then our second number is our ones, which is nine. And it gives us the number 39. Another way you could think about this, to, uh, maybe looking, uh, putting these two numbers together is weird and confusing. That's okay. Because watch this. You can also count by tens and then keep counting on by ones. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Either way, you will get the same answer. So, uh, for everyone watching this video, if you're not one of my friends that are in my classroom, please make sure you stop the video, ask your teacher what they would like for you, like for you to do next. Uh, for the friends in my room, my class, we are going to do an online assignment, just like we do every day. So, let me show you what the online assignment is. Okay, so first things first. We click on our man in the blue box, our Google Classroom, then click on Classwork, and the assignment for you is 8-3, quick check. So it says 8-3, that is your assignment. There will be a few questions in there for you, and as soon as you're done, you can go on Pink Cat and practice some extra skills. All right, so that's it for today, guys. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I hope you understand the lesson. If not, please let me know if you are confused about anything, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.